Just hours, the second man charged with murder and the death of a local teenager is expected to face a judge. That shooting death happened last Tuesday in the parking lot of a Regency Walmart. Police say this started as a drug deal and then it took a violent turn. 19-year-old Peter Perez Corona was killed. Police say yesterday, 21-year-old Micah Carter II turned himself in after seeing his own picture on the news reports and also on social media. 18-year-old DeAndre Cohen was arrested last Thursday. Channel 4's Ashley Harding's joining us now live. Ashley. Yes, Jen, good morning. Jail records show Carter is due in court at 9 o'clock this morning. Now, because Cohen was arrested last week, he has already been before a judge and is not due back until next month. But again, they're both charged with multiple felonies, including armed robbery as well as murder. Investigators say the two suspects showed up outside the Walmart in Regency to buy marijuana from Peter Perez Corona and others Tuesday night. When they got there, investigators say Cohen didn't have the amount of money agreed upon. They pulled out a handgun and tried to rob the witness of the, of the marijuana. Uh, Peter attempted to intervene and when he got out of the car and approached Cohen, Cohen uh, fired his gun and shot Peter in the head. That's when police say Cohen took off and the next morning they were able to identify him and put out a warrant for his arrest. On Thursday, police found him and charged him with attempted murder. When Corona died from his injuries the next day, the charge was upgraded to murder. Following his arrest, detectives learned the identity of the second suspect as Michael Wayne Carter II. Less than four hours after police formally announced Cohen's arrest, Carter had turned himself in. Both are being held without bond. And News for Jacks briefly spoke to the family of DeAndre Cohen, who say they are meeting with the NAACP to discuss their son's case. And News for Jacks will be inside that courtroom. Of course, we will keep you up to date on this story as it transpires. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station.